Hi everybody, Leslie from Discovery Fabrics. Uh, today we're gonna do a short video explaining how our cooling microfiber works. Now this fabric is a very suede finish, non-stretch, and it is intended to make cooling towels. And I'm going to do a little experiment here showing you um, using a digital thermometer exactly how well this works and why it works. So I have in front of me here a bowl of very hot water and I've put a strip of the cooling microfiber in the hot water. I'm doing this just so that I can show to you that it's not the temperature of the water that makes this cool. So the digital thermometer will tell us. Your surface temperature is 43.9 degrees centigrade. Okay, so you can see that it's very hot water. So what I'm gonna do is pull out the piece of microfiber. Now this isn't a typical microfiber. It's actually designed to channel the evaporating moisture back into the fabric so that it stays wet and helps with evaporative cooling much longer. So once it's wet, you have to activate uh, the molecules in the, in the water basically by snapping And what this does is it gets them moving and starts the evaporation process. There's nothing chemical in this. It's all completely natural. Evaporative cooling happens when the vapor of moisture um, is in the air and it's actually around 20 degrees cooler than the surrounding air. So that's why when you sweat, your arm feels quite cool. So I'm going to show you that after just a few moments, it's going to be substantially cooler and it's going to continue to cool. Now this is going to continue to cool and I'm going to test it again in another moment or two. So what happens is once it's feeling cool enough, it's always within a minute, you put it around your neck, you just stay nice and cool, you can you know, mop your brow, you can wear it underneath a hat if you want to, but when it starts getting overtaken by your hot body temperature, you simply take it off and snap it again and reactivate those molecules again. So that's what makes it work so well. I'm gonna be testing as I mentioned in again, but first I wanted to show you what we do to get the most value out of this fabric. This fabric sells for $22 a yard. Um, this actually came from the company that makes the Mission Cooling Towels and they sell their towels, well they used to sell them for $45 a piece and I think they discount them now on some sites for $15 a piece but with one yard of fabric, you can make six of these towels because the fabric is 60 inches wide. So what I do is just cut off the salvage edge, but I don't cut the towels uh, widthwise, I cut them lengthwise. So here's an example of a finished towel. And I would just cut um, 10 inch increments so you can get six towels across the 60 inch width. And then what I do is simply fold over the edge and then fold it again and do a straight stitch. And I do the long edges first, or the it doesn't really matter which you do first, but I do the, the sides first and then the ends together just so that they fold over nicely. You could do it, you know, this first and that second, but it, the, the idea is that you really don't even have to finish these um, you know, in any special way. I know some people will serge the edges, but I prefer the durability of the fold over a straight stitch edge. So what I'm going to do is just get this measured again and just see what it says. Your surface temperature is 21.7 degrees centigrade. So you can see that it's continuing to cool um, and as I mentioned, it's the air that's doing all the work, the water in the air, there's nothing chemical about this. These are really lifesavers to have when you travel. Um, I did wanna mention that although theoretically you could make a garment out of this, I personally don't recommend making garments from it because you would become hot and it's hard to take a garment off and shake it and reactivate it. So really it's for something that is removable like a hat or, um, or a towel around your neck. Um, that's it. I hope that helps to explain our cooling microfiber. We have it in lavender, pink, and we now have white. We just got in. Um, the white actually can be dyed uh, if you use um, special dyes for synthetic because this is a polyester base. And you'll have to really make sure that it doesn't bleed after that if you dye it. Thanks for watching.